What's up, ladies and gentlemen of YouTube? Boogie2988 coming at you live once again through the power of the internet. And this is my rambling series in which I talk about uh, myself and life and the universe and everything around us and my little puppy, too. And uh, just generally things that are happening in the world tonight. I want to talk about um, Halo 5 a little bit. I want to talk about my gameplay channel. I want to talk about Twitch. I want to talk about me and what's going on in my life. And I want to talk a little bit about what's going on in life in, in a fellow YouTuber's life. Someone I consider a peer actually a role model to be frank um but let's start off with an apology i haven't made a rambling video in a couple of weeks and i'm sorry for that i know a lot of you really look forward to them but i've been putting a lot of extra time into my gameplay channels and stuff and i've been focusing on that i've been focusing on sammy i've been focusing on a lot of the other things i'm sorry that i've let you down i try to do these weekly and i'm sorry i missed a week um but that said hopefully there's a lot of good stuff in here for you tonight uh, so let's talk about the gameplay channel because that's what's been occupying the most of my time. I'm trying to get a hundred decent videos out on that channel by January 1st. That's my goal. That's a pretty lofty goal, but I think I can do it and I'm excited to be able to do it. Um, it's, uh, some people have asked me, Boogie, are you crazy? Cause you're already doing the Twitch thing, which you stream 15, 20 hours a week there. Then you're, uh, also doing the YouTube stuff and that's taking you 30, 40 hours easily a week. Why do you want a third job? Well, <laughs> uh, number one, I think it's important to challenge yourself. And I feel a little complacent in a lot of the, like even when I was stressed, I felt like I'm doing the same thing. I want to do something new. Secondly, that gameplay channel is going to allow me to do something I've always wanted to do. I can't bring you a lot of gameplay here. I can't do every bit of gaming news that I want to do here. I can't do every unboxing that I want to do here. There's only so many videos I can upload here on this main channel in a week. But I can upload whatever the hell I want to to that smaller channel. And that's going to allow me to do rambling things that are not big gaming news, but smaller gaming news. Maybe even game reviews eventually, which is something I'm interested in doing. Let's play content, weird Hearthstone decks, whatever it feels like. I can experiment with it there, and if it does well there, maybe it'll come to the main channel. But the main channel's not going to change. It's still going to be rambling vlogs. It's still going to be gaming news. It's going to be social commentary. And I'm going to still update here four or five days a week the way I already do. And Twitch isn't going to change either. I, I'm just going to do more. <laughs> um, but the, it's been very successful over there uh, on the gameplay channel so far. Uh, I'm getting between five to 10,000 videos per upload, which is tremendous. Uh, and I'm very excited to get that. And I know that number is only going to grow as I plant more seeds into the ground and, got, and people are excited about it. And so if it's successful, that'll be great. And if it's not, it'll be a place for me to just dump stuff that comes into my head that I want to get out. And yes, it's time consuming, but what else is life for if it's not to be productive? And <laughs> if the production entertains you, you know, only so many uh, a thousand of people can watch the Twitch streams. But if, if, Tens of thousands of you can watch the, the gameplay videos. That's awesome. Link to that's going to be in the description box. And I, I, I'd love it if you check it out. I think that you'll be glad that you did. Even if you're not into the gaming stuff, there's always going to be social commentary, a little bit gaming commentary, and my face is going to be there if that's what you like to see. I'm, I'm, I'm not afraid to do only gameplay like that's what I'm supposed to do. I've always been a variety channel, and that'll be a variety channel as well. Uh, speaking of though, speaking of which though, I get to do something very exciting. I actually will be playing uh, Halo Five there early. I got uh, a, an advanced copy of Halo Five uh, thanks to the folks over there at Microsoft. Thank you for including me in that. And I was so excited when they told me that I was going to get to do that. I, I this is not a sponsored bit at all, by the way. I got a center review code and nothing else. I paid for everything. <laughs> paid for the Xbox and playing it on. I paid for because this is the the day one edition that I pre-ordered and kept the pre-order for it. All, so there's no sponsored content here whatsoever. I think that's important. You know that. I went up to Walmart and got the uh, Halo Master Chief uh, controller limited edition. I know there's another one and I might have got that one too. Uh, but this is the one I'll be playing Halo Five with, and I think I'm allowed to bring you the first three chapters and then some multiplayer uh, later down the road, and that's all going to go on the gameplay channel. But man, that's exciting. I love getting early access to games. I love getting to play these games. I'm not the, I've not been the hugest Halo fan. I played mostly 1 and 2, and then it was the most, mostly the multiplayer. The Halo Master Chief Collection, when it worked, helped me get caught up on the story. Now I'm excited to see what happens from there. And you'll be able to check that out, hopefully by the end of the weekend, on the Gameplay Channel. Um, but thank you for helping me be in a position where I can do stuff like that. It really means a lot to me. Thank you for that. 
Um, let's talk about Sammy a little bit. Now, Sammy's sleeping at my feet right now, and she does not get bothered by my voice at all. Even when I'm recording gameplay or even when I'm streaming on Twitch and I get really excited and I'm screaming at the top of my lungs, dude does not care. He is just chill as could be. And what a good dog he is. Like, he is such a good dog. Um, he's not really gotten into anything in the house, no trouble. He's had a couple of minor accidents, but I think it's just him marking his new territory. He's, he's gone outside 99% of the time. Uh, during the nighttime, he'll, he'll come in here and lay with me and will he'll watch me work and he'll keep me entertained while videos are compiling and stuff and he'll sleep during part of it. Um, when me and my wife are spending our three or four hours a day together after her work, but before I go to work, before she goes to bed, he loves to play with us. He loves to watch us, watch TV together. He loves to cuddle with us. And then he sleeps in his kennel in the bedroom with me every day. And I know a lot of people are not a huge fan of kennel training, and I'm not a huge fan of it. But dude loves it. Like, he will get in there on his own all the time and just go in there and chew on a toy and relax and have fun. He does not care at all. If I close that door, it doesn't make a bit of difference to him. When I open that door, he's glad to come out. But otherwise, he is just a happy little bee. And uh, what a happy little dog. Uh, and I, 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 I can't, you know, that's the truth a lot of the times when you adopt rather than get a new puppy. A new puppy, you get to train it the way you want to, but you have to train it. A lot of the times when you get an adult dog, whether an adoption or a rescue, these dogs tend to be pre-trained. And they're still eager to learn, and they're going to learn whatever it is you need to teach them. But on top of that, there's a lot of stuff they already know how to do, and he already knew how to do a lot of it. He knew how to get up, get down, recognize his own name, recognize the names of toys, and, and he knows when I say outside, or I hope he didn't hear that because he's going to want to go outside. Um, he does not like walks, which was really weird, um, but he's such a small dog. I guess that kind of makes sense, um, and I guess it's pretty common for his breed as well. Uh, but my wife is still training him to take walks, and he needs the exercise. Uh, you know, we just want him to be a happy, healthy dog. We can't have a fat dog. The internet will hate us if we make that dog fat. You know, so um, obviously, but I will, for other reasons, I want him to be healthy. I want him to be a happy, healthy dog. Um, my wife has been a little concerned because he spends more time with me than he does with her, and that's resulted in him being a little more bonded to me than he is her, but he loves us both to death. But my wife got a little butthurt about that because sometimes in some instances he'll get into my lap before he'll get into hers. Um, but she needs all the love in the world. She does. And I certainly can't provide all the love because uh, I'm pretty broken. I do my best though. Uh, but I, I will, speaking of love and speaking of being broken, I did not know that I had room left in my heart to love another person or thing. I thought my wife was it. Um, but I love Sammy so much. <laughs> I cannot believe how in love with that dog I am. And you guys were right. I should have gotten a dog, and I'm glad I got a dog. And thank you for encouraging me. Thank my wife for really making the move towards it. But thank you guys for everybody's encouragement because it has helped my mental health so much already. And I'm sure after years of happiness with him, the Internet says he's got about six to eight more years left in him, provided any major health problems, and that's going to be a wonderful six to eight years. I can't wait to spend them with him. Uh, now, speaking of negative prognosis, is I didn't want to talk at the end of this video about a friend of mine. Uh, I, I guess I don't think he considers me a friend, uh, and I guess I probably shouldn't use that word. Let's call him a colleague. Uh, let's call him a role model. Let's call him somebody I've really looked up to. Somebody who's helped me out quite a bit. And it's a fellow YouTuber by the name of Total Biscuit, um, John. I don't know if you'll ever see this. I, I should, probably not, and that's okay. Um, John today tweeted out that he, his cancer's back and that he's been given a prognosis of uh, living another two to three years with that cancer if they fight it. And it's a very aggressive cancer where it's at now. It, it's very scary. Uh, but John is young and he is strong and he has a lot to live for and he is stubborn. So I think he's going to give cancer a hell of a run for his money. And I hope that you do. I really hope that you do. Here's the thing, man. We all got to die of something. You know, we'll die of heart attacks. We'll die of cancer. We'll die of obesity. We'll die of a variety of things, car crashes and, and starvation in the desert. I mean, this, the human condition absolutely ends in decay. That's it. That's 
it's the human condition. There's nothing we can do about that. What we can do is is fight it as best we can, make the best lives that we can. Man, you have, you really have. And I'm so proud of you. A lot of people on my stream tonight asked me if I'm doing anything about it and making a video about it. And I wanted to put it at the end of this rambling video because I don't want to be accused of people saying, oh, you're trying to profiteer off of, you know, the illness of one of you, somebody you look up to. I'm not doing that. What I am trying to do is ask you to do me a favor. Uh, a lot of people have expressed on my stream and on my Twitter feed, how do we fight cancer? What can we do? And uh, a lot of people want to give money because it's something they have to do. And I think that's a great idea. And I, I don't think Total Biscuit's accepting money. Uh, and I, I don't expect them to do that. I'm not sure. Uh, but I will tell you, here's a great way to fight cancer. There's an organization out there called St. Jude, and I've worked with them before. Um, me and my friend Trey Chad have worked together to, to help them before. Not only are they a research hospital that fights cancer and does actual research on cancer, but they use the funds that they have to provide experimental, sometimes, cancer treatments for kids who have been turned down by other cancer places all over across the country because they don't believe they have a chance. And then on top of that, they do it for free. They use your donations to do it. One of the best ways to research cancer in the world is to donate to St. Jude because not only are they uh, researching it and trying to put in the work that will eventually lead to a cure to that damn thing or treatments for that damn thing, they, they actually do it by saving the lives and the family's lives of, of children who have been diagnosed with terminal cancer. That's the best organization in the whole world when it comes to cancer. And you want to fight it, that's a great way to do it. So I choose to do it. That's where my donations go. Um, I'm going to post a link in the uh, description box if you want to help me. And if you'll post in the comment section how much you've donated. Uh, I will donate up to $1,000 of my own money if, if you guys are willing to total $10, $5 a pop. until you guys, When you guys reach $1,000, I'll match that. Even if you don't, I'm probably going to give them a thousand dollars. I'm going to do it because it's the right thing to do. Because I lost a friend to cancer um, just this last year, just this last June, and uh, man, we got to do something. Oh boy. Okay. Before I get emotional, guys, I uh, I'll get off here. Uh, I love you guys very much. Thank you for watching. I'll speak with you soon. I, I I do have hope. I have hope for John. I have hope for me. I have hope for all of you. I have hope that this uh, the human race will beat that fucking stupid disease one day. Tell me what you hope for. Tell me if you have hope. Use the word hope in the comments section below. I know you made it all the way to the end of this video. And I love you for doing that. I'll speak with you again soon. Take care.